What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. For San Francisco in this ball game, you want to keep an eye on how often pressure is dialed up. It's easy to get over aggressive versus the Saints offense. You want to stay aggressive, but you don't want to get overly aggressive. Otherwise, you'll get beat deep down the field with the passing game. And they have to get back to 49ers football. That's dominating the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, being able to run the football with Frank Gore and company, and also being able to get off the field on third downs, all of which, in my opinion, has to happen this week versus the Saints. And I think the inside linebackers versus the running game of New Orleans will be key in this ball game If they're able to keep the Saints in second and long, third and long situations in my opinion that favors san francisco because we know how much they can apply pressure and what they can do on the back end to match up well we'll talk about that later on in the video and for the saints in this ball game the importance of third downs can't be understated this is a team that in san francisco that can do a great job in slowing the pace of the game down which forces you to maximize your own possessions which is why you have to stay on the field on third downs and defensively you have to be able to get off the field they have a mobile quarterback in Colin Kaepernick and he can extend plays with his legs which ultimately result in third downs being converted so again the importance of third downs for the Saints is huge in the outcome of this ball game and the Saints have to be able to beat the 49ers at their own game that's running the football very well you've seen the different Saints football team the last couple of weeks since they've been able to run the football with Mark Ingram they're now able to operate very well off of play action. That's all San Francisco used to do prior to this season. They have to beat the Niners at their own game in order to have some success. And I would stay active, but stay disciplined. You have to remember, you can't get out of position versus Colin Kaepernick because he can extend those plays with his legs. He can take off, and he's probably faster than some people in the same secondary. So you can stay active, you can stay busy, but you must stay disciplined. This week versus the New Orleans Saints, the San Francisco 49ers have to be able to put touchdowns on the board in the red zone. I'm going to show you one play they can utilize, which allows them to get the ball in the hands of Anquan Bolden, who's tremendous after the catch, and also find a soft spot for Vernon Davis to settle in over the middle of the field. I'll show you what we're talking about here. What we're going to do, we're going to bring this guy in motion, a short motion, and as he gets outside leg of the receiver, you see right here we have tight end, receiver, receiver, tight, uh, receiver on the backside, one back in the backfield. And what we're doing here, I'm going to show you after we snap the football, we're going to bring this receiver on a clear out route. He's going to run to a spot. So he's going on an angle, trying to find a spot, hopefully trying to pull this cornerback out of the play. And at the snap of the football, we're bringing him up as if he's going to run a split or a divide route. And he's whipping right back out into the flat. That would be Anquan Bolden. Get the football in his hands quickly, allow him to turn up field, make one miss, and fight his way to the end zone. What we're doing with the Titans, he's going to stem up, and settle down. So he's gonna read the backer. If the backer drifts, he stays here. If he's going, he's gonna work over and settle into the soft spot in the zone. Off of play action, we're gonna run a backside streak here, clear out route. So that's one way they can get the football here in Anquan Bolden's hand and also allow Vernon Davis to settle in over the middle of the field just to try to get a big play in the passing game in the red zone. Because again, this week versus New Orleans, it's all about matching touchdowns with touchdowns and this is one way they can do so. The New Orleans Saints defense will have to be able to get off the field on third down this week versus San Francisco. And we know they have a mobile quarterback back there in the pocket in Colin Kaepernick. And here is one way you can get your best pass rushers on the field and also drop back in coverage and play safe in the situational 3-3-5. Look, I'm going to show you what we're talking about here. You want to put Junior Gillette and also Cam Jordan on the field at the same time. That's your best pass rushers. You also want to play contain versus a guy like Colin Kaepernick who can get outside the pocket and extend the play with his legs. You don't want that to happen on third long and find themselves, and then that way they find themselves staying on the field offensively. So you're going to get your guys, your best pass rushers to get up the field. You're running a weak side slant. So the defensive end is going to slant in on the strong side B gap. You're going to have the nose tackle, weak side A gap slant. Five tech goes outside right there. So you're getting four rushers and you're playing contain on the outside with your best pass rushers and trying to influence double team blocks here with two inside guys. Now what you're doing with the rest is simple. You're dropping back in coverage. We're gonna play cover three. So as the cadence starts to wind down, you're gonna walk your cornerbacks back and they're responsible for their deep third. 
Walk back a little bit, responsible for the deep third. Now what you're doing, you're gonna bring this safety over, which is your free safety, in a deep third as well. Drop the strong safety down in the curl responsibility. You're gonna drop this extra safety or an extra backer in the 335 in the out res hook responsibility. Bam, bam. So you see where you're getting four guys uh, getting pressure, four guys underneath, three guys deep. You're well protected on third and long. You're getting your best pass rushers on the field, and you're also protecting yourself in your underneath coverage with playing deep, playing you know safe on the back end deep in the deep third with those cornerbacks. And this is one way the Saints can utilize their personnel, go situational 3-3-5, and also have some success in keeping Colin Kaepernick contained, it's tough to say, contained in the pocket on third and long. I like what the 49ers did here last week versus St. Louis and matching up versus a spread set. Pre-snap, you don't know what you're seeing. It could be cover two. It could even be quarters. But what it actually is, is cover one. And they also added a T and E stunt up front. And all I did was flush out the quarterback. There was nowhere to go with the football. And it ended up as an incomplete pass. Now, as we run it, you'll see it's poetry in motion. Just how you draw it up in the film room. And the 49ers executed it flawlessly. And we know they're going to see a lot of this versus New Orleans. And if they're able to match up like they did versus St. Louis, it bodes well for their defense as a whole. The Saints are one of the better teams in the NFL at attacking coverages on the fly. And here versus Carolina, it looks like cover three robber. You see the deep safety at 18 yards off the ball. The field corner is playing 10 yards off the receiver. And that tells you that the flat will be protected by the linebacker to the field side. Now the mission here is to attack the zone by flooding it. And the Saints have three eligible targets to that side and will only send two in a route. The receiver at the bottom runs a comeback and the slot bends his seam route just a bit to create a huge void in the defense, putting that linebacker in a bind. And as we run it, you're going to see this is just great recognition by the receiver, Andrew Brees, who gives a subtle pump fake to the near side of the field, allowing that seam to clear and allow the receiver to settle down in that zone. He comes back far side and drops the ball in the bucket for a big game. Chris Connors at Connors Doss asks the question, why abandoning the run versus numbers is a recipe for failure? Well, to answer your question, Chris, I've always been a fan of running the football no matter the box number. But versus a sack box, it does give you more potential for a big play in the running game because all you have to do is break that first wave of rushers and it's a house call for your running back. So in conclusion, there is no downside to running the football versus any front. And thank you for your question, Chris. The biggest X factor in this football game will be the interior offensive line for San Francisco. If the Saints are going to send pressure, it's going to come between that A and B gap, and that falls right in line with your guard-center guard combination. Those guys have to bring their A game this week versus New Orleans. And the X factor for the Saints will be Drew Brees. He has to make sure he protects the football. You can't turn a ball over versus a team like San Francisco because that's like turning the ball over versus Army, Navy, or Air Force because of how well they're able to control the T.O.P. You want to maximize your possessions, and you can't do that if you're turning the ball over. I like San Francisco in this ball game. I think we're going to see the 49ers of old being able to run the football, operate off play action, staying aggressive defensively. I think all of which will give the Saints problems down there in New Orleans. I like San Francisco to go on the road and knock off the Saints. What's up, fantasy football fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. For all of your starts, sits, fantasy football notes, news, and tidbits, tune into our podcast, Football Game Plan Starting Lineup, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on our Football Game Plan Radio Network, which is located at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan. And I also want to give a huge shout out to 49er fan forums and Saint fan forums for always showing football game plan support.